I, I feel like it's really, really dark in my kitchen right now. So excuse the lighting, but I'm just about to pack my hair and stuff away. Can I be totally honest with you? All right, I forgot about this. It's been in my car for quite some time. These were in the boot. So yeah, I don't remember getting much frozen. I mean, it's been cold. It's been cold in the boot. It's been a cold day today. It's been very hit and miss really weather wise. I mean, I see a rainbow, you know, it's been up and down, but everything still feels cold you know so it's not like obviously anything frozen is going to be defrosted now so you know that could potentially be an issue but i totally forgot about it in my car and i got this um i mean it's half six now it's half six and this has been in my car quite some hours so yeah but anyway hopefully all will be well this has happened before and we're all still here to tell the tale so yeah you know i I don't think it should be a bit of an issue, but yeah. Anyway, how are you? Hope you're all right. You've had a nice day. I've just been out pissing around, getting all my bits from shopping and, you know, making sure I've just got everything in. So I haven't got to go out, you know, and yeah, this weekend I just kind of want to relax. I feel like I've been very busy lately and I've had a right shit show week at work and it's just been, yeah, it's yeah very mentally draining this week. So um and physically actually so yeah it's been my um heavy week of night shifts this week and yeah it's, it's been a bit shit to be honest so i'm glad to have my days off so i don't want to do fuck all this weekend i just literally want to sit on the sofa really <laughs> and do nothing i mean i've got cleaning to do and stuff like that but i want to do in-house stuff you know like i yeah i ain't pissing around so i've been and got everything that i need to get and i can just just, I don't know, catch up on myself a bit, you know, in the house and the kids and Steve and everything else and, you know. So, yeah, I'm going to show you the bits that I got before putting it away. Hopefully all is well with the shopping. Like I said, you know, it has happened before. We've left some out and it's been fine. I mean, once or twice in the past, I've even re stuff. Not certain things, but, you know, some things have been all right and it's just been fine, you know, because... Yeah, I just have, and it's, you know, like I said, we're still here to tell the tale, you know, so, yeah. Um, yeah, if you do want to stick around, I will show you this shit show of hair and food. Um, it's not shit. It's not shit. I just mean the situation of it being in my car, but yeah, heron, I really like heron. I know not everyone's got one, and that's well shit. Honestly, I, I think that's really... They do so well if they opened up everywhere because they're such a good shop for all the bargains, you know, and all their... They have random stuff like three for a pound or four for a pound. And, you know, that's what I like about Har Harren. Heron. It changes, like, um, day to day, you know. So, it's yeah, they have different offers on. Like, I went um, last week and it weren't as good as it was. Uh, no, it was really good. This time it wasn't as good. So, they had, like, better offers on. You know, like, your Cadbury yogurt um, little split pots, like the Buttons ones and stuff like that. They were two for a pound, whereas the 75p at Tesco. So, that was on offer. They ain't got that now. So... Yeah, I'm going to take my watch off now, I think. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, actually. Doing a bit of a competition with Steve to see how, like, who's got the most steps today. I think he's beaten by a few thousand at the minute, but, um, yeah, we're doing a little a little competition, so. Um, I won't take it off yet, but I feel like it's... Do you know when someone's just really annoying you? That's how I feel. But, yeah, honestly, at work, it's... Oh, what a week. What a week. Like I said, I've got a few days off now, so... I can't wait to just do full call. I'm going to have a line tomorrow. So, right, let me pull this bag out. Yeah, looking forward to that, having a lay in. Right, we got any frozen. These were from the freezer, but they were going to be defrosted anyway. These were only a quid. So, um, yeah, I would appreciate it if you did stick around. Anyway, like I, you know, always say, it's much appreciated if you do. So, yeah, my Instagram's fj202 want to follow me on there and um, these are a box of chocolate orange profiteroles so um yeah i'm gonna have a movie night tonight because i fell asleep quite early last night so uh, not stupidly early actually so um yeah that was on my sleep day so i tried to hold out and i just couldn't but yeah i tell you what we had a we watched a movie last week Ugh, for fuck's sake can you speak so Again, sorry about the lighting. It's getting darker, but yeah, I'm waffling on. So uh, we watched, 
uh, for years, all right, for years, literally, it's not even a joke, I've been asking Steve to watch The Green Mile with me because I think it's one of the best films. And um, he's like, no, it's too long. And Steve's one of these, like, he won't um, watch anything um, past a certain time frame. Like, if it's a fair few years old, he'll be like, right. So we had to put it on at seven so it wouldn't, like, lead us all the way into the night. So we could still have some, like, time to himself in the night, you know. So, yeah, put it on. Do you know what? The next day he went, I have to say, it's probably one of the best films I've ever seen. And I was like, knew it. I knew it. And also, um, Forrest Gump. Again, didn't want to watch it because it was quite an old film, you know. And that drives me mad because there are some brilliant films that are really old, you know. And, um, yeah, he watched Forrest Gump, really liked it. Yeah, I've watched some cracking bits lately. <gasps> Tea Chop by Sheridan Smith. I love anything with Sheridan Smith. I heard she's going in EastEnders. I don't know how true that is. I don't know if that's like a bang or wank or what, but um, yeah, I watched Teacher the other day, which is like a four part series, 45 minutes each. And um, what else do I want to watch? There's something else. Something else I want to watch, but yeah, some cracking bits at the minute. My mum said um, Damsel was really good as well. I don't know if that's my cup of tea, but she said honestly, she didn't think it'd be hers. And like when her partner put it on, like she was like, you know what I mean? But it turns out she really, really liked it. So, yeah, that's my mother's recommendation, damsel. So, um, anyway, right, yeah, I don't know how we got there. But, um, chocolate orange profiteroles. So, um, yeah, grab them. They were a quid. These were 69p as well. Mr. Kipling, lemon, uh, France, fan, Francis, Francis. So, a bit of the old Easter range. So, yeah, got them. These were four for a pound. So they're really hard, but warmed up. They're so good, and the chocolate melts as well. And the lads love stuff like this. Yeah, four for a quid on them. And then these were two for three quid, which I thought weren't bad. So Muller Corner Originals. These are the Mississippi Mud Pie ones and strawberry and chocolate orange. So I don't know how I forgot about them because I have disinfected my fridge out today in preparation for new bits. So. Yeah, yeah, I think there's some frozen bits in here, for fuck's sake. I've got these five one bars because I really like them, as you know, I go on about them. Yeah, I've got pizza, there was a pizza deal in here. Alright. It's alright, pizza tonight. There you go. So, giant thin and crispy pepperoni pizzas. So you've got two. They're, they're a bit floppy now, but it just means they're going to be used tonight. So, two of them. They are quite big for four quid. Uh, brownie bites as well. This is their XL range. So they're brownie bites. They're the pizzas. And oh, seasoned potato wedges. So all of these were four quid. So it's sort of like, well, it's a pound a piece, isn't it? But you know, they're massive pizzas. And like brownie bites, I bet they're quite nice, but the best brownie ever is the little one, honestly. If you haven't tried a little brownie, get yourself down there now. They're about 59p, 59 or 69. <sighs> top tier, honestly, they're top tier brownies. I'm not really a brownie person, but... Got some milkshakes, so that one, but then four for a pound on these ones. You know, because the lads quite like these milkshakes, so yeah, they'll be alright. They feel cold, it's all cold. So these were 50p from Christmas, you know, you know when you just fancy a bit of chocolate? So I thought, oh, I'll get three of them, you know, stick them in the cupboard. I'll probably forget about them. And quite often I do forget and I'll be like, I really fancy a bit of chocolate. Forgot I've stashed a load, like on the shelf. And I'll remember about three weeks later. So um, some sours, tangy sours. These were three for a pound, but this one's open. Some, it weren't open when I bought it, but some it's like, Jabbed it. I love Muller rice. Oh, it says on it hot or cold. I never um, think it's a bit hot, but I think I prefer them cold. Right, I've got some mash. This is mashed potatoes with fried onion. I don't know how this is going to be all right, but um, for 59p, sometimes I fancy it. This is myself, and I'm like, I can't be bothered to make mashed potatoes. So I've got two, because if I like it, then I'll have another one. But, um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be any good. These, though, I've had the chocolate orange ones. <gasps> They're low calorie. Um, I was like, oh, <laughs> do you hear that? Low calorie, uh, like chocolate, um, like yogurts. So they're chocolate fix, smooth Belgian milk chocolate and mint. So I've got the mint ones this time. This time, 
this time oh my god 71 calories for these they're so nice so well i haven't tried them once but and then this was two quid and i thought you know what i'm gonna try these for the cats so um yeah two quid you get i mean i usually get like a big bag this is 750 grams so this would not last me but um yeah because they switch between like felix pouches as well and the whiskers tins the cats and they have whiskers biscuits usually but i thought you know what i'm gonna try these to see how you know how they are and if they if they do really like them because my cats can be so fussy you know like i switch it up between all sorts they've had sheba they've had um they've had the cheaper ones they used to really really like the little stuff and then they just stopped eating it it's like the purple tins they just completely stopped eating it so i don't get that anymore and now they're on felix um and they've gone off a little bit gone off felix and now they're on um, whiskers tins so uh yeah three for a pound on the that one's fucking open and all so they'll be fine they'll be fine they're just been in bags but yeah so i got six because they were three for a pound each then i got three for a pound on the cans of pop as well so you know it's quite expensive usually um b and m are really cheap for cans of pop as well they're like 59 people three for a pound i had a lucas egg the other day and it was two quid for a bottle so fuck that you know you can't go wrong can you on lemon fan oh it's like proper nice um munchies chocolate uh, robins little robins and then just the last of the milkshake so yeah that's everything i think it'll all be all right like i said the feet will be at tonight and that and the wedges and the fridge stuff quite cold so yeah because i thought shit you know i've lost all of that probably but no um yeah i just need to remember to take it all in when i get out of the car because i'm like just want to get i even need a piss or something so i'm like right get out of the car you know really quick get everything that i think i've got you know and then there's usually something do you know what i've left a charity shop bag i've been charity shopping totally forgot about it because i've had to like i don't know come in do dinner um you know get ready for work that kind of thing and then about a week later i'm like oh shit yeah i got them bits them few bits from charity shop so yeah it's not the first time it's happened but it's all all right but yeah anyway i'm gonna go now pack it away and it's proper dark now so yeah don't envy the kids get you down you're absolutely fucking amazing i love you all and i'll see you in tomorrow's video